start work, I'm just trying to put the clear coat of poly urethane on the railing from yesterday. Never done this before either, but instructions say to stir it well to avoid bubbles and then allow four hours in between each coat. So that's what I'm doing. Today was Taco Tuesday over here. So we had some tacos. I stopped at Target um, to get baby girl some Zarbi's cough syrup. And of course they didn't have that. And I wanted, we wanted to get her some different hair products to try out. So we got her the Shea Moisture Baby line. You guys can't see me, but I'm still painting. And then um, I had to pick up the stuff to get the, make the tacos because I decided at the last minute that I was going to cook. So we didn't have anything thawed out. So, but they came out good. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back in the house, and I wanted to show you what I got from Target. Aside from all this taco stuff, I found this water sprinkler in the Target dollar spot, and I thought it was the cutest thing. It was only 5 bucks, so I figured um, baby girl might like this in the summertime, maybe, if she starts walking. If not, my nieces and my nephew will like it. So I got that. I got her a swim diaper in size 12 months because I know these are going to sell out like hotcakes when the summertime comes. This was $10 from Target and then we got some new hair products for her. So we got the Shea Moisture Kids Detangling, the Coconut and Hibiscus Spray. I got her some Jamaican Black Castor Oil and the Shea Moisture Baby with Chamomile and Argan Oil. So we're gonna see if these put more moisture in her hair and if her regimen with these three products works better than what we've been using. Um, so that's what I got from Target. Today. Okay, y'all, so for today's Amazon packages, the first thing that I ordered was this eyelash glue. Um, someone I follow on Instagram, Pink Tea Rose, uh, suggested this yesterday, and I went ahead and ordered it because when Ronnie and I went out for his sister's birthday, what was that, last weekend, I literally had no lash glue. I was squeezing that tube like nobody's business, and my lash was like hanging on by the grace of God. So I needed some more lash glue. Anyway, this is the first time I'm trying a lash glue with like a wand inside of it. Usually I just use the duo glue and you know, you have to squeeze that onto the strip lashes. Now this I think is meant for, it's long lasting. So some people in the review section were saying they were getting like a week's wear worth out of their um, eyelashes. But I think this is meant for individual lashes and I only really wear the strip lashes on occasion. So we'll see if it works for that. Um, but I also ordered these. Um, satin nickel hinges from Amazon. The first package of these uh, got lost last week and they never came. So they gave me a credit and then I reordered um, another package that was available for Prime and they came next day because I just ordered these yesterday. So these are just the three and a half inch, you know, the regular um, door hinges for interior doors. So I wanted the satin nickel to match um, the aesthetic of the house now because we really don't, we don't have any gold on this level of the house. So this is a pack of 24, I believe it was like 30 some dollars. Um, and I used the rest of my credit to get my eyelash glue. But the reason I needed these is because we have a collaboration coming up with Hardware X Supply. Um, look them up on Instagram and online and they have provided us with all of our hardware our handles for the doors on the main level of the house that we did the renovation for so this is the style we chose I think I showed you guys this in a previous vlog but hopefully this weekend we can uh, record the content for this uh, collaboration and it'll go live early next week but I really 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 like it it's really heavy quality this one is a dummy lock set so this one would go on like a door like a um, coat closet or something a door that does not lead need to lock but the style of it is the same as the um other ones that actually do have the actual lock on them so really good quality really heavy quality i just absolutely absolutely love them um and they like i said they were so gracious enough to gift us all of the door handles for the main level of our home so we're excited stay tuned for that collaboration it'll be coming up very very soon good morning guys happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. I am headed. It's Wednesday. It is April 21st. Um, and I'm headed, y'all, it's 8, 8. <clears throat> it's 7. It's like 7.30 something. And I am headed to the dentist to get the first half of a deep clean. I am hella late. Well, I got 
gotta be there at eight and I don't have any gas. I was gonna take one of Ronnie's cars, but the car I was gonna take, I realized had the car seat in it. By the time I take that out and go find the keys to the other car to put it in, I would be extra late, plus, yeah. So, I'm just going to take my car, go to the gas station, and pray that I get there on time. Um, I don't understand why I said, I don't know, I said it's really weird. I'll have to tell him that it says that. Um, I'm trying to think of the quickest way to get there. I guess it's this way. I don't really want to go this way, but I don't pass any gas stations on the way there. But anyway, I'm getting the first half of a deep clean. I'm a little nervous about it. I've never had one done. Like, I've had a regular cleaning, like, I guess a topical cleaning, which I got a couple of weeks ago. But this is like a deep cleaning. I heard it hurts. Of course, at the dentist, they tell you it doesn't. But, you know, I've talked to people who've had it done. And, I mean, they survived, but I heard it hurts. Um, they are going <clears> to... <throat> going to numb the side of my mouth so I'm not worried about that part but yeah I also found what I think I found through just scrolling on Instagram um, a replacement sideboard option that I want for the family room I think because I want to put a sideboard behind the couch that's up against the wall I think just for storage and like for me to display some of the decorative things. I also want to put a, a console table behind the couch that has the um, exposed back to the kitchen, but we'll see. The sideboard that I was looking at, the one that I ultimately want, I think has been discontinued. I found it somewhere else, but there's no way for me to order it. Like, I don't understand, so I have to maybe call that company. Um, it's been discontinued on Wayfair. It's not even listed anymore. You can't find it on the site. But the um, other one, or the replacing, replacement one, substitute one, um, is a lot shorter, but it's also only $379. I'm pretty sure the other one is like more than 1000 And it comes in two colors. Well, it comes in three colors. Blue. I don't want to get blue because my couches are blue. But it also comes in silver and gray. I think the silver color is the one I want because it's darker than the gray. But it's only $3.79, which is a great price. I just don't know, you know, like I don't, I don't know. Like I'm iffy about ordering it. It's not as long as the couch, which I think I'm okay with. I think. I would love an extra, extra long one. I don't know I have to measure the picture and then how far I would put the wall sconces and make sure it doesn't hang over because the sideboard is only 63 inches but my couches are 90 inches but it won't be I don't know I'll have to play around with the measurements I didn't have time to do it before I left also I looked at the handrail that I've been making over in the garage after the first coat of poly I have to say it looks good y'all mm-hmm Hey y'all, hey, happy Thursday. Today is April 22nd and um, I'm just getting off. It's like four o'clock. Um, so I'm just getting off. I started early today. I got some packages. I'll show you guys this. Ordered some stuff from um, Fenty Beauty. So I will show you that when I get back home. Um, we are headed out to go and find some clothes for baby girl because she's growing like a weed and she doesn't have any clothes in the um, size range of like 9 to 12 months. So I found her some joggers from Old Navy. I have a ton of stuff in my cart online at Carter's, but there's also a Carter's and an Old Navy right down the street from us. So we're going to go in store and see if we can find something as well first. And then if they don't have much or depending on what we get in store, I'll go ahead and supplement with the online stuff. Um, and then I did buy her a pair of Air Max. They should be here next week. And her dad bought her a pair of these this is what he bought he bought all three of us these shoes his um he has to take back because they're too small but they are called he said these are called the island i'm sorry alan iversons so he bought her a pair me a pair and him a pair he's going to exchange his pair though um for a bigger size so mine and her should be here next week i think 
Um, so she's good on shoes because she also has a pair of pink Converse and then she has a rainbow pair of Converse as well that I bought her for Christmas or we bought her for Christmas. So she should be good on shoes after that. Of course, I'll buy her like the cutesy sandals and stuff like that. She already has a pair of like pink glittery like Birkenstock style sandals and then she has another pair of sandals that she wore with her Easter dress. But I want to get her a white pair and like a, a cognac pair and she also has like some jellies as well. So she'll be good on shoes um, until she goes into a size five because she's going into a size four now. So that's the size that we're buying for her. Um, but yeah, we're about to go see if we can get her some clothes. I wanted to show you guys that I made a little bit of a change in the family room because I think I found um, a sideboard cabinet that I want to put over here. You know, I used to have one of these silver chairs in each corner, one over here and one over there. But now I have made this area for the chairs. It's sunny in here right now. And then I shot my own home and I pulled the um, like nesting tables out of the office because I don't really need them in there. Plus I have another table that I can put in between the chairs in the office. But these used to be in the family room or the living room of the townhouse. So I put them there right by the niches. I actually like it there. I'll probably put something tall decorative in those niches later. But I found a cabinet that I want to get to display some more of my decorations and decor and stuff because I had the built-ins at the townhouse and I don't have the built-in shelves here. So I have a ton of bins of decor that I can't use because I don't have the storage space. And then I'll probably put some really nice hanging mirrors or something above that. So hopefully I can order that this weekend. And then I want to get a really nice long sofa table for behind this couch because I don't like the back being exposed. But for now, I just put this table here, which used to be where my Z Gallery Sequoia table is now. Um, I put it here just to see if I would like having a table behind the couch, and I do. But this one is not, not nearly long enough. The couch is 90 inches long, and this table is just like probably, I don't know, 40 inches. So I definitely need something longer, but for right, right now, I just put it here. I haven't put any decorations or anything on it just because... Um, Baby girl is in her walker sometimes and bumping into stuff. So we're gonna order her a huge play yard to go in that area right there so that she can stay contained. Um, but yeah, so, so far that's the change that I made in here. And then I also put the stuff back at the front door. I'm ready. Um, I put this stuff back at the front door and I put the curtains back up. And then in this room, you guys know we don't have furniture for this room yet. We just put the rug down and the coffee table in here, but eventually, We'll put some um, furniture in there. But I'll show you guys what we end up getting for baby girl if we find anything later on. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Today is April 23rd. It's about 9.15 in the morning. Baby girl and Ronnie have just left for work in Nana's house. And it hasn't been quiet in this house and me by myself in a very long time. <laughs> so I'm soaking it all in. I just took a shower. Did some self-care stuff, but I wanted to show you guys um, a haul of some sorts. So I got a few beauty products in the mail. I can't remember if I already showed you guys this, but if I did, just bear with me. I don't remember, um, but I know I didn't show you guys this because it just came yesterday, and I know I didn't show you guys all of these because we just got them yesterday, okay? So um, I just remembered one last thing that I purchased for her some shoes I purchased them a couple of weeks ago and I never showed you them so I'm gonna show you them um, let me grab them hold on and then I need to clean up her room because there's so many clothes from this bag that my sister got um, this lighting is nice sitting in front of her window so let me show you what I thought I think I showed you I only have four up here but one of them is a duplicate because I put it in my purse already so um, this is the stuff from Gerard cosmetics um, Missy Lynn had a collaboration with them where I think these are lip, this says lip gloss, but when I put it on, it looked like, like colored liquid lipstick, but maybe not. Anyway, um, Missy Lynn announced that they restocked her cocoa bean color in these um, lip glosses. And I wanted to try it because when she came out with this collab a long time ago, they sold out. You couldn't get them. Well, um, when I went on the internet to look for them the day she said something about them in one of her videos um i never ordered them and they were like twenty dollars each and i was like mm, that's kind of steep i didn't order them but the next day they emailed me 
and said that they were on sale five for 25, which I was confused about because the previous day they was like $20 each. I'm not arguing with it. I hurried up and bought five. Now I did buy two cocoa bean um, of Missy Lynn's color and then I needed three other colors to complete my order. So I'll show you. And then when I tested it out yesterday, cause I put some on yesterday, I noticed that one, there's a mirror on the side of these. How convenient and cute is that? And then two, there's a light when you open it. I've never ordered from Gerard Cosmetics, but the packaging. Okay, so this is the cocoa bean. So I ordered two of these. That's why I only have four up here. And you see this, it has a clear sticker that says peel off. That's a mirror. But when you open it, there's a light. It is, do you guys see that? It's a light so that you can see how to put it on at night. You have a mirror and a light all in one. This packaging is really, really good. Um, and you see it says GC Gerard Cosmetics. So this is the cocoa bean color. Um, let me open this up. This is the plum crazy color, really pretty. Um, this is the uh, wild orchid. Now this was out of my comfort zone, but I was like, why not? Let me just try it, it'll be cute for the summer. It's like a purplish color. Maybe I can tone it down with something else. And then this one is um, Divalicious. So this is how they look all together. Let me put the label on the same side so you guys can see that. This is how they look all together. Really pretty shade, so it's brown girls. Now remember, I did get two of the cocoa bean. It's just in my purse. So I did get the five for 25. These are the colors. They look really nice, and I especially like that they have a mirror and a light on them. So I got these. Um, I'll put these back in the boxes in a second. I'm gonna make you wait for that. And then um, over the weekend, I showed you guys the lash glue already that came from Amazon. Over the weekend, Fenty Beauty had a really good deal. So I ordered some stuff from her. I really love Rihanna's line. I love her skincare. I've been using that and it works really, really good. I haven't really had any breakouts since I've been using it. Um, and then I love her um, lipstick formulas too. So I do have the Stunna Paint Pot, the large one in the bright red color, the first one that ever came out, but that's the full size one. I saw this on the website and I think it was like everything was 25% off, but I'm not sure. But anyway, um, and it was also free shipping. This was on sale for like $12 and this brought it down to like nine bucks. And these are the mini little, they call them two little Stunna's paint pots. Um, or lip paint so it's in the color unmatched and underrated as you can see really really pretty i thought about these i'm not sure if these used to be in the um, holiday collection or what like the mini ones but i thought these would be good to just throw in my purse um because they're the mini size and how many times am i out and then i end up going somewhere or meeting up with somebody and i ain't got no lipstick or whatever i have plenty of lipstick in my purse now but for some reason all my lipsticks get lost so i've just been um re-upping on my lipsticks and i do like the quality brands now of lipstick so this is um like i said unmatched and underrated but they're the smaller sizes so this came to like nine bucks not bad for fenty right 450 each free shipping and then these are the only three colors these are her matte lipsticks um these are the only three colors i really wear um out of her line and they are um candy venom you can see that's like a bright pink um shawty which i love that's like a neutral brownish color and then flamingo acid which i wore um the other day when ronnie and i went out for his sister's birthday dinner so um i have shawty that's in my makeup bag i know that but i use that a lot so i wanted to replace these these were like five dollars and some change um plus free shipping so i went ahead and ordered that i had shawty but i just needed another one the flamingo acid um, i'm sorry flamingo acid i had just wore to um ronnie's sister's birthday dinner and I didn't know what I did with it so I was like dang I lost it so I needed to replace it of course I found it as soon as I placed my order it was upstairs on my bathroom sink um, but my makeup is down in my um, filming slash beauty space or whatever so I thought I lost it this um, candy venom I opened this and wore it to the Mickey Mouse summer end of the summer party right after I had Ray last summer and I have never seen it since. I don't know where it is. I've oh, I've taken everything out of my makeup bag, everything out of my purse. I have no idea where it is. So I knew I needed to replace this. So I did get three of the matte lipsticks from Fenty. Good, good prices. Um, I need to take all this stuff downstairs in my beauty room. Um, but let's move on to baby girl. So I was in 
Frost um, a week or so ago, and I saw these shoes. I didn't even know they were K-Swiss. I thought they were Fila, but they were so cute. They were only $6, and look at them. They're so cute. Now, I mean, some people say nobody wears K-Swiss anymore. I've been seeing them in the stores, and maybe they're in Roth because no, that's true. Nobody does wear them, but again, I thought these were Fila's, but I mean, she's a baby. I thought these were the cutest things, and they're like the leather material. So cute. So, I mean, I figure, figure she could wear them. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, they're a size four, and that's the size she's going into. But for six bucks, and they have like the little glitter, white glitter on the um, back, and then the bow is made of it. I thought they were so cute. I feel like she could wear them. Like, who's going to check her? She's, she's almost nine months. And then we went to um, Carter's. You guys, Carter's is so overpriced. Like, I went in thinking, okay, because you remember, I bought her all of that 12-month stuff um, from Marshalls, and um, it's just really, really summer, like shorts, tank tops, and everything. And right now, it's still a little cold, but she moved to the next size. So my sister gave me a ton of 12-month stuff as well, but it's summer stuff, and right now, it's still cold. So she needed some long sleeve items that she could wear 9 to 12 months right now, and like some leggings and pants and stuff like that, just to get her through this whatever season we're in right now until we get into summer. I thought I was going to spend like $100. You guys, I spent one and a half times that, okay? Like, ridiculous. Anyway, so let me show you what I got her. So I got her a few things in nine months because that's the size she's in now. I was going to put this on her today, but I wanted to show you guys. This is like one of those Terry sweatsuits, and this was on um, sale for 11 bucks, which I thought was great. The MSRP on this is 28 but I love these three pieces because when the weather is kind of wonky like it is now, she has on a, a, a short sleeve um, onesie under it. If it gets too hot, I can take the jacket off. If it gets too you know, cold, I can put the jacket on. So I like these. And this is a nice material, warm, and it's pink. So I got that. That's size nine months. I got this off the clearance rack. This is size nine months as well. But I thought this was really cute. It's long sleeve. And I love the fact that it had a hood on it. It has a little uh, cat on it. And this was on clearance for $5.49. So we got her that. And then this was really cute as well. I got this in nine months. It's a onesie um, from the baby, uh, Oshkosh Bigosh brand and I thought she could pair this with like some jeans but it's like a bodysuit and this was $4.99 not bad at all this was 82% off so um the material was really, really like soft and silky as well so I figured if we were going out or going to someone's house she could wear that and then this I had this in my cart online as well this is a three-piece outfit that comes with the nine month jeggings you know you can mix and match those so that's a good um tip when you're buying clothes make sure you're buying pieces that you can mix mix and match and interchange with other things but I just love the um like the jacket to it it doesn't have a hood or anything but this just looks so cute so I figured she could wear this like right now it's nine month size and I loved it um this rang up for $13 and that's another thing I know online stuff is way cheaper than in the store because I had this in my cart and I went back and looked after I bought it in the store and this was ringing up for like ten dollars online but i paid 13 in the store you guys so then i also got her these leggings in nine months because she can never have too many pairs of leggings in in this season i don't remember how much these were but um the msrp says 22 but i know i didn't pay that okay um and then let's see these shoes were another example so the original price is 38 dollars, and i had got an email about carters and i had them in my cart these i checked yesterday are ringing up online for 18 dollars they were 28 in the store. 28. And the day I got the email about them, they were only $20 online. But they were ringing up $28 in the store. And since I was already in the store and they had her size, I went ahead and got them. But I feel like these are so cute for the summertime. They look huge. Like, I feel like these are way too big for her. But they say size 4, size um, 9 to 12 months. And Ronnie says they look like her size shoe. But these things look huge. But anyway, I got these. They were more expensive in the store um and then i got her um these leggings right here and these are 12 months so that's all the nine month stuff um i figured that would take her through, through this like season that we're in right now and then i have to do her laundry she has more um nine month stuff in the dirty clothes so i got her these um this two pack of leggings one is the like jeggings it looks like jeans and the other one is pink she's a girl she can wear pink leggings anytime these were on sale buy one get one free but they didn't have another set that i could have gotten her in her size they only had like um two 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 t three t and like the biker shorts and stuff like that so i still want to get her some solid biker shorts but that'll be another day um so i just got another pack of the same things but these are in 18 months so i'll put this in her 18 month bin and hopefully 
she can wear them or she will wear them when she gets in that size and then we also got her these these are some biker shorts it was a two pack um with the um like the army green and then this floral and then i got her the matching floral top in 12 months to go with the solid green shorts i thought this was cute and then she can wear like a white top or a denim top or anything with the um the floral ones and then we got her a bunch of solids which in my opinion these were overpriced too but you know whatever so i we accidentally got this in a size nine month we should have got this in a 12 month so i may uh go exchange this today because she's in nine month now so i would want this to be in 12 months but anyway we got this the shirts were nine dollars uh, we also got this one right here um, Ronnie picked this one out. It's really cute. And then we got her some biker shorts because why not? They're the cutest things ever. Um, these neon ones, these biker shorts were $8. I think that's too expensive. Why they're not? Why aren't they five? Like, she's a baby. Like, this is ridiculous. But anyway, the leggings from Old Navy, not the leggings, the joggers and, yeah, the leggings I bought her from Old Navy. I bought her three pairs last weekend. Those were $5 each, which I thought, okay, fine. But $8? Come on, Carters. Like, this is crazy. I got her this neon color. Um, I got her this denim pair. And then I got her this pair because I thought it was so cute. Look at these, like, summertime. And then I got her this white tank top. I think the tank tops were like nine dollars original price 14 like why and it has like a little heart pocket on it it's so cute can you see that so i figured she could wear this with that and then i got her these tie-dye shorts because i'm into tie-dye so that means she got to be into tie-dye so i got her these tie-dye biker shorts and then i also got her another um heart tank top she can wear it with this as well and then um ronnie got her Oh, she can wear this with that, too. Ronnie got her these flamingo, or he picked out these flamingo shorts um, for her. And it can go with either the white tank top or this tank top or any other shirt she has. And then he also picked out this outfit, which is the butterfly shirt. And it has a heart, I mean, a um, bow in the back. So cute. This butterfly shirt and then um, these matching shorts that go with it. So I thought that was cute. Um, and then she does have, we both um, ordered her some sneakers. They'll be here next week um, for... The summertime and then she has um a couple of pairs of sneakers that we bought her that were size four so they were big uh for christmas that she hasn't worn because she's just now going into that size so she should be good on sneakers um going into this next size um i do want to get her a few more pairs of sandals like a gold pair and probably like a cognac brown pair so if you guys know the hookup for getting sandals let me know um for little babies or girls let me know about that um but yeah, that's everything that we got her, and she should be good for the summer now. Um, we were going to get her a dress, but I had already ordered her a dress, um, or two dresses, I think. I ordered her two dresses, or I had already bought them from Marshall, so she has some dresses, and I just think she'll be okay. I'm going to ask Ronnie about exchanging this nine-month shirt, because I really do think it should be 12 months. Um, she's going to grow out of this too fast. Um, so I may take that over there today and exchange it for 12 months. Um, so yeah, that's everything that we got. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and a good weekend. Um, I did upload a vlog yesterday for you guys. It's when the backsplash started going into the kitchen. So stay tuned for that. I mean, not stay tuned. It's up already. So if you guys haven't watched it, go ahead and I will probably upload another video before you see this one. So if you haven't watched any of those vlogs, you're probably about two vlogs behind. So go ahead and check those out. Um, other than that, talk to you guys later. I'm about to log in for work and get some work done. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Good morning, guys. I'm back again. I'm downstairs doing some work. I just submitted my timesheet for work. And guess what I had? Because I had to do some measuring. Guess what I did? So I just got on Wayfair and ordered this sideboard to go over there in that corner. I told you guys we changed some furniture around. Now I am going to do a full decorate with me video where um, I have been filming us, you know, move the furniture and put down all of this stuff. Um, 
I'm going to take, once I get, because like the way that I like to do decorate with me videos, and I really haven't done that many of them because when I decorate, I'm in the zone and I'm not even thinking about recording. But what I do is, or what I would like to do is ideally know where I want to put everything and then I'll take it all out once it makes sense to me and it looks good. Then I'll take it out and I'll show you guys the process of me coming, you know, putting everything together. So yes, the rug is down. I know Ronnie's not going to want to pull this back up and everything like that. So I may leave um, the rug down and the coffee table and then take everything off the coffee table. I really haven't finalized the design and I do want to get a couple of um, coffee table books to go right here and move baby girl's toys. But that's another reason why I wanted the cabinet here because I have to be able to put, realistically put some toys in this level of the house for her. And so putting it here is the best place. And the couch was 90 inches long and I couldn't find a sideboard that was reasonably priced that would go behind it, that wouldn't push it too far up. And then the picture that I brought for this, um, excuse me, the picture that I bought from behind the couch, it's not as wide as the couch, which is fine because I bought two of the Aspar wall sconces to go on the outsides of the picture, which will kind of elongate it and make the whole scene wider to better fit the couch. But the sideboard that I found on Wayfair is only 63 and like a half inches, and that was smaller than the photo. So that wasn't going to look right because it wouldn't, wouldn't have been the same width. So I didn't want to put it there. And plus, I feel like... I've already moved this table, I mean this um, couch in a little bit, and I moved this one in a little bit. I don't want to pull them in too close because I do have the bench there. Um, and then I'm going to, um, like I said, put a longer coffee, I mean a longer sofa table behind that couch. So the um, one that I ordered when I measured this space, it was like perfect. It'll fit here. I'm going to get some really nice teardrop, a set of teardrop mirrors um from overstock to you know place above it i think it'll look really really nice i may need to switch out this um mirrored uh light switch cover once i put the mirrors up there because it may look crazy but i'm not sure we'll see um so i moved these over here and i kind of had the chairs turned in kind of towards each other but ronnie put them straight when he was cleaning up so it's fine the only thing is i told you guys i moved these tables from the office which is cool i didn't need them in there i don't know what to do with these stools um so i may put them here you know how you can put two stools there but i'm not sure they definitely won't stay there because um we are ordering baby girl a huge like playpen type of situation um, and that's gonna go right here when she's down here but I did need a cabinet for um, mainly well I used to put like my cleaning supplies and stuff in the built-ins at the townhouse I used to put all of my candle and my smell good supply in there I do have those in a um, drawer in the guest room which is right right back there, um, which is fine because we don't have overnight guests that use all of the drawers anyway or let alone use any of the drawers. So it can stay in there. But for her toy storage and just for other, um, also some of the um, decor pieces that used to be displayed on my built-in shelves, I don't have built-in shelves here. So <laughs> um, all of my decor, I know I'm not gonna be able to use. So I would like to put it, store it in there and then I can switch it out at my leisure. We'll see. But the cabinet was only $379. I thought that was a great price. I came up to like $402 with tax. It'll be here next Friday. Hopefully it'll come a little early, but we'll see. I was hoping for two-day shipping, but you know, whatever. Um, but I thought that was a really, really good price. And it does have like the mirror inserts on the doors. And it comes in three different colors, silver, gray, and blue. I didn't want blue because my couch is blue. Um, so I got it in the silver color, but it's like a wood tone silver, I think. The gray was just way too light, so I didn't want to get it in gray. Um, but we'll see when it comes. I'm really excited. I ordered it for right there. And like I said, I'm going to order some teardrop mirrors um, for above it. And yeah, hopefully this weekend I can get to starting stenciling this wall. The, um, the railing that goes on that wall over there that you hold coming down is done. We just have to put that up probably tonight. Um, or I may do one more coat of poly on the top and then we can put that up and then we can take out the railings, the, um, the ballisters here and stain this and then put them back in. And then we can move to another section of the railings. Hopefully the catwalk up there, but we have our projects cut out for us. We also want to do the tile in the bathroom that I showed you guys. 
Um, so we have some small projects cut out for us, but I wanted to tell you guys that we made that change in there. I did order a cabinet. I'll record us putting that together and getting the delivery and everything. And that'll be part of the decorate with me, um, like series. Cause after I finish the kitchen series, I'm going to go into like the decorate with me series. Hopefully this weekend he can put up this curtain, which is over here balled up on the couch. Okay. My... 18 foot curtain look at it this is crazy but i want him to put it up for me so that i know that's the length i want if it's if it's too long which i think it's going to be too long um i may have to take it to a seamstress and get it cut off and then i'll just order a shorter version for the other three panels but i can't put up the wall disc on top of the tv until he hangs that curtain or the curtains so that i know how far over it comes because i don't want the wall disc to be like in front of the curtain or behind it like i want it to be just in the blue area um so that's kind of the hold up on that but yeah it's coming together i really think it looks nice um i am going to go back and set the um the uh table over here the sunroom table with like all my play settings and stuff um i do need to get two more i've noticed that like i don't know so the char the spruzo chargers that i got from z gallery they're supposed to be the sapphire blue color. Some of them are true sapphire blue and some of them are like that tealish color. And I don't understand why because they all have the sticker that say sapphire. I'm not sure. Um, so I want to put two at the bar area to bring some blue over here because I haven't purchased um, bar stools yet for this area. The bar stools that I want are not going to be in until June and I don't want to order them right now sight unseen because they are very expensive. So I'm trying to, in my mind, hold off until maybe the store gets some in stock and I can go see them in person. Right now, we have the acrylic ones from the townhouse. They look fine in here because you guys can see that all of my cabinet hardware is acrylic as well. So, I mean, it works fine. But um, I do wanna bring some blue over into that space and I'll probably do something else blue over there. I'm not sure, or somewhere blue. Um, but I definitely wanna put that, um, put the table together and, you know, just, not have a plane like that the other thing is i want to put a longer sideboard over here under these um cutouts um because i think that would be great for like um serveware storage and you know just dinnerware and stuff like that um and just storing you know random kitchen <laughs> related things but i want it to be a really good size like probably hopefully like the length of the end of this cutout all the way to the end of the other one. Um, and I know I'm gonna spend some money on that unless I can find something on Facebook Marketplace. So I've been being patient with that. For right now, I just ordered the one that's gonna go over there, hopefully. And then I am gonna get a longer sofa table. I just put this one here, like I told you guys in the previous clip, I put this one here just to see if I liked a table behind this couch, and I do. And then this also allows me to use some of my decor that used to be on the built-ins at the townhouse. So um, this is not staying here. I'll probably end up selling this because I don't think I can use it. Like, where else would I use it? I don't I don't think I can use it anywhere, anywhere else. Um, I don't want to use it in the um, formal living room because I don't need it. And then in the formal dining room, I don't need it either. Um, I really don't. Once I put my bar cart back in here, probably in that corner over there again, I really don't need um, another console table anywhere because the console table that goes here is a mirrored one. So I know I'm gonna put a big mirror on top of it. So that's two console tables, you know, with that one. And then I'll have one behind this couch. I don't need a fourth one and I can't use it in the basement. There's nowhere for me to put it in the basement and there's nowhere for me to use it upstairs. Like I'm, there's nowhere. So I'll probably end up giving it away or selling it or something. Um, I didn't pay that much for it, but um, I want to, yeah, get something longer because like I said, the couch is 90 inches. This is probably like, <laughs> um, 45 or so inches it's not that big at all so I don't need it I did clean it off I was going to use it in the meantime but it kind of looks stupid because it's just so small and it doesn't cover the couch so I know that I need to get a longer one I want to get a statement one and I would like one that has two different levels so I can display more decorative stuff I am worried about the kids but I think I can use like the command strips or the velcro strips to keep stuff like not bolted down to the table, but from like shifting, if they touch it, you know, it's not gonna fall off. 
Um, and I have to just be mindful of the stuff, the type of stuff that I put on the table because baby girl do be zooming around here in this damn walker over there, messing up my stuff. So the um, Z Gallery Sequoia table is really good because it's sturdy and she can't like rock it. She can't like really, you know, get to it that much. But um, a table like this is a little bit more, you know, flimsy. We also have to put the felt feet on the bottom of all of the furniture because um, there's already one small scratch on the floor and Ronnie was not too happy about that. So we are going to do that as well. But I think that's the only updates that we have for right now. Also this weekend, we're thinking about changing out the hardware on the doors. Like I told you guys, the hinges came and then the door handles came. So we'll probably change those out. Um, and yeah. That's what's going on this weekend. I think Ronnie has to help his dad do something tomorrow while I work. So he's going to take baby girl with him. And Nana's going to um, keep an eye out for her. And then I told you guys that eventually the um, Ronnie's going to move this light up for me. Because I just feel like the mirror is a little bit too close to it. And then I'm going to put something behind the mirror to make it like, you know, like that. Because of the hooks that we use, it's like tilting it downward. Um, but I just want him to raise the light and he has to fix around the hole of the old light anyway. So I just want him to raise it like a couple inches to give a little bit of space. But this is the um, tile that we're gonna tile this whole back wall with. Um, so I'm really excited about that. We're going to get it hopefully in the next few weeks. I don't know, like I said, we're trying to do one thing at a time, one project at a time and um, that tile is going to be like 700 and some dollars for just that wall. It's very expensive, $15 for a square foot. Anyway, um, the first order of business was getting this cabinet. Hopefully this weekend we can do a little bit of decorating. He can put up that. I can put up, uh, we can put up the picture in the sconces, um, and a couple of more things that I have that I want to, you know, put out and stuff like that. But recording the decorate with me will be, a uh, over a few days probably and then i'll just have to merge it all together because like i said i haven't even ordered the rest of these curtains because i need to see the other one up there and then he can't put the wall just up until i get all of the curtains so yeah i'm thinking about putting like some tall vase vases or something like that vases in these cutouts but i'm not sure i really don't want to obstruct especially this one because when you are cooking at the cooktop you can see the tv from that one which is a plus because when this was a full wall all you could do was hear it. Like you had to imagine what was going on. I just ate some, um, some pronto or pronti pepperonis and guacamole um, for breakfast. And uh -oh. yeah, I am about to drink an ice drink. Do a little bit of work. Um, and, oh, I'm going to take this back um, and get her a 12-month shirt because I, I don't understand why we got nine months when she's about to be nine months in, like, one more week. So, yeah, I'm going to take that back and get her a 12-month shirt for that. Put this back in my purse, and, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.